Now, welcome back, everybody. It could turn into a Western movie, this shootout between the Cubs and baseball commissioner Faye Vincent. Today, the Cubs sued the commish to try and stop Vincent's plan to have Chicago and St. Louis play in the National League West next season, while Atlanta and Cincinnati move to the East. Vincent says he's not surprised by the suit. The Cubs contend the suit is only fitting. My hearing is scheduled for tomorrow morning. Now, something you almost never see from the bigs tonight. Watch Andy Van Slyke of the Pirates against the Astros. Coming in hard to try to make the catch off the bat of Luis Gonzalez. He does. Ken Caminiti had taken off from first. Van Slyke, as easy as you please, just trots over to first base for the double play. The first unassisted double play by an outfielder in nearly 18 years. The Pirates beat the Astros 5-3. Other scores. The Reds over the Cubs. That's six straight uh, wins for the Reds. New York beats Atlanta 5-4. First of two in Montreal, or in L.A., the Expos win it. Second game's in the third. San Francisco wins the first of two from the Phils. The Yankees beat Minnesota. Detroit over Oakland. KC Boston still playing. The White Sox doubled up Baltimore. Toronto 4, Seattle 3. Cleveland 3-1 over California. Milwaukee leading Texas in the seventh. And the Tribe loses to Denver 4-1. The Frenchman Pascal Lino is the fourth leader in as many days at the Tour de France. He has nearly a two-minute lead after three of the 21 stages. Three-time champ Greg LeMond is in tenth, seven minutes off the lead. And while the Tour de France is a marathon, a local cyclist is a favorite to sprint to an Olympic gold medal. She was born on the 4th of July, and she's America's best hope for an Olympic gold medal in women's cycling. Connie Paris Kevin Young has won four world championships, but the games in Barcelona will be her biggest competition ever. The end of my career is coming. I can kind of see it there somewhere in the future. And so it's not just like, ah, I can do another Olympics, I can do another Olympics. And so I'm really, I'm, I'm really psyched and, and excited, and I think I'm, I'm prepared pretty well for them. 1992 will mark Connie's fourth Olympia, a speed skater in the 1980 and 84 games. She also brought home the bronze in cycling in 88. Now the only medal she wants to put with the pedals is a gold. You know, I went in there then with the potential to win and, and with the desire to win and determination to win. Um, and I'm going in there the same way this time. And, um, you know, hopefully I'll, I will come away a little bit better than last time. And what about next time? Will Connie stay on track for the 96 games? Now, four years is a long way off. And, uh, but I tell you, if, if, if the possibility is there, if I, if I feel good physically, if I, can, if I have the, the corporate support um, behind me, and if there are races to keep me going, I mean, I'd be crazy. Atlanta in the United States, there's nothing like um, the Olympics in, the, in having them in your own country. Until then, Connie Paris Kevin Young will try to make her own country proud and prove she is the biggest wheel in the world of cycling. And she leaves on Saturday. The competition's in a couple weeks. Could come home a few days after that with a gold medal, probably. Hope so. What yeah. a firecracker yeah. she is. That's great. A neat lady. Back after this.